Hey everyone, it's Lance with Keep Life Tasty. I'm gonna get you up out of your seat to make a really quick snack. We're gonna make a broth tail this time. And this is one of my favorites. It's super simple. Our broth tails only take about four minutes to make and this is an excellent one. If you just need to clear your head and to kind of get your mind off of that last Zoom call. Um, here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our Delight Pho sipping broth. And for those of you who know, this is named after my mother-in-law, Millie. And uh, this, is, uh, this is probably one of our best tasting uh, products that we uh, uh, kind of recommend to everybody. This is going to be uh, just a couple of ingredients. I'm going to get this going now. And the idea with the broth bag is you want to steep it for about four minutes. And the idea is to get as much of the dehydrated vegetable, to get that flavor out as quickly as possible. So I've got my water going here, and I'm only gonna add eight ounces of hot water. And the reason for that eight ounces is because if I put too much water in, it will be too watery. And so I want that right concentration of uh, broth and, and savoriness and everything like that. What I've got here are uh, rice noodles, and what <clears throat> rice noodles usually come, they'll come in packets like this, and I cut it in quarters because I didn't want to get too many noodles going, and I'm going to put that in right away as well. So we've got that going. I'm going to grab a spoon here. So we're going to add uh, a couple of other items to, to this. I'm going to put in um, a little bit of cilantro. For those of you who, who like cilantro, if you don't like cilantro, you don't have to put it in. My wife doesn't like cilantro, and so, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of the, the joke around here is that she almost divorced me before she even married me because I made, um, I think it was our second date or something like that, where I made this hot pot, Chinese hot pot meal with an amazing amount of cilantro because I love it. And uh, she thought to herself, she goes, wow, I, I just don't think this is going to work out. And, you know, never told me until I think like, you know, a month or two afterwards. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Anyway, um, so that's going there. The, the noodles, uh, they're already uh, almost cooked. We're going to add a little bit of rice wine vinegar. And then we're going to put in some of our red pepper dazzler. It's got a little bit of heat and some garlic and some parsley, and then we're going to top it off with a slice of lime, because what good pho would there be without some lime in there? So I'm going to smoosh that in there. I'm going to cut it. Just put that on there like that. Add my cilantro to the top, and I'm going to Give it a good smush. I think that's a technical term. Smush, smushing the tea bag or the broth bag. We want to get the, the, as much flavor out as, as possible. And the only way you can do that is uh, by letting it steep at least four minutes and then just giving the broth bag a, a, a squeeze, like a really good, good squeeze. All right. So I think it's ready. It's that fast, really, 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 really fast. Okay, so here we go. We've got our, uh, our noodles and the broth, and it is, if I can get the noodles in my spoon. Mm. They cook really fast. You can also use yam noodles. Um, and by the way, this is, Pottery from our friend um, Amy, Pottery by Amelia. It's this beautiful handmade um, cup here. It's gorgeous. And um, anyway, this is excellent. We've got spicy. We've got um, lime. I like it spicy, so it's good. Anyway, thank you for joining us. Um, we'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas that you want to throw to us, give us some ingredients. We'll, we'll make something with it with one of our products. You can check out our recipes and get more information about our products on keeplifetasty.com. Again, my name is Lance, and always remember to keep life tasty.